You got the dress, treat yourself to lipstick. No, I have enough at home. Oh, come on, you might as well get one while we're here, right? I have too many lipsticks. I have piles of them. I don't Look, need it. I'll buy it for you. All if right. he doesn't answer that <laughs> phone in the next two rings, I swear to God. Hi, Blue Eyes. I really feel bad about her. I should talk to her. Oh, yeah. 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 Dr. Perkins. Yes? You may not remember me. I'm uh, Nick Marshall. I came here about 10 years ago with my ex-wife, Gigi. Oh, Christ, not him. Oh, good. You remember me. Well, I'm sorry to barge in like this, but I don't know who to turn to. I'm desperate. I'm afraid to go to work. I'm afraid of my door woman. I'm, I'm afraid to get a cup of coffee. Mr. Marshall, please slow down. Yes. Slow down. Let me make sure I completely understand what it is you're saying. All right. All right. I hear what women think. Yeah. You know, Mr. Marshall, this kind of imaginary displacement scenario I'm really not isn't my thing. I do, however, have a very good friend over at University Hospital who specializes in men with uh, male menopause and testosterone depletion. <gasps> She's fabulous. I think what I'll do is just give her a ring and send you over there. Why did I answer my door? I was so into buying that lamp on eBay. How much was it going for? How much was what going for? The lamp on eBay. Oh, <laughs> I see. That's good. Very clever. Dr. Skolnick, please. All right, you don't believe me. Well, then try another one. Oh, go on. Pick a number. Give it a whirl. Any number. Okay. A number between one and... A million. Why not? One and a million. All right. Hmm. 644,998, 99, 90. Want to make a decision here? Oy vey! Oh, you can say that again. I didn't say anything. I know, but that does not mean I didn't hear it. Okay. Okay. Let's say... Let's say I do believe you. Yeah. That you, uh... You can hear what women think. Even though I'm a grown woman of... 51. 47. Oh, my lips are sealed. Oh! Holy crap! Oh. oh, forgive me. It's all right. But this is phenomenal. You can hear inside my head. Yes. Why would you want to get rid of such a brilliant gift? Well, for starters, almost every woman I know thinks I'm an asshole. That's what I thought when I first met you. Uh, Doc, could you please give me a break here? Mr. Marshall, you might find this a little unorthodox, but would you mind awfully if I smoked? No, 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 I understand. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's try to look at the upside of this, shall we? You know, Freud died at age 83, still asking one question. What do women want? Hmm. Wouldn't it be strange and wonderful if you were the one man on Earth finally able to answer that question? Listen to me, Nick. Something extraordinary and I think miraculous has happened to you. My advice is, you must learn from this. You know, there isn't a single woman that I treat that doesn't wish her man understood her better. If men are from Mars, and women are from Venus, and you speak Venusian, the world can be yours. I don't know how this happened to you or why, but you may just be the luckiest man on Earth. Imagine the possibilities. If you know what women want, you can rule.